Good morning. My name is Bob Quick. I'm the president and CEO of Commerce Lexington. I would like to welcome everyone to this momentous occasion. We're happy that another international company is calling Lexington home. We're excited to be surrounded by so many guests today. I would like to recognize a few special guests with us. Former Governor Martha Lane Collins. Governor, there you are. <laughs> Mr. Ming Wei, Commercial Attaché of the Embassy of the People's Republic of China. <laughs> Secretary Lynn Peters, Kentucky Environmental and Energy Cabinet. Lexington Vice Mayor Linda Gorton. Thank you very much for all of you coming. Uh, today you're all a special guest because this is a very extraordinary announcement. And to make uh, the announcement, I would like to have the Governor of the Commonwealth of Kentucky to please come forward, the Honorable Steve Bashir, and he will make the formal announcement. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is indeed an exciting day for Lexington and Fayette County and indeed for the entire Commonwealth of Kentucky. The grand opening of Bertley's new manufacturing plant is both an exciting day, as I said, and a historic day for the Commonwealth of Kentucky. It's exciting because Bertley's $10 million facility, which will produce machines that process coal, will create 30 to 50 new full-time jobs for Kentucky families. That is a very exciting part of this announcement because that's 30 to 50 families that will feel a lot more confident about our economy and a lot more confident about their ability to provide for their families and to make sure that they grant to their children the same quality of life that they have enjoyed here in Kentucky. It's also a historic day. It's historic because it represents the first Chinese-owned manufacturing firm in the Bluegrass State. Now that is exciting and I think we ought to thank them very much. I want to congratulate company officials and thank them for their investment. We have Mr. Chun Bing, chairman of Bertley's parent company in China, and Ms. Ying Zhuan Rogers, who will be president of Bertley's. One of my top goals as governor has been to build stronger relationships on a global scale with governments and businesses all around the globe. And we've worked aggressively to do that. In 2009, I traveled to China with a small group of top economic development officials from Kentucky to lay the groundwork for what we hoped would be a strong and lucrative partnership. In 2011, several top officials from Kentucky's Economic Development Cabinet, including Secretary Larry Hayes and Commissioner Eric Dunnigan, returned to China again to meet with officials from Bertley's parent company. In addition, in January of that year, we had gotten together with Chinese officials to sign a public proclamation of our intent to work together to promote an expansion of trade and investment between Kentucky and Chinese industries. Today, we see the tangible result of all of that effort. The history we are making today paves the way for an even brighter future because foreign direct investment is so important to Kentucky's overall economic strength. Kentucky has a reputation as a land of opportunity for international companies. About 425 companies from 30 different countries are now located in the Commonwealth, employing more than 80,000 people. We're going to continue our efforts to increase these numbers and nurture these business partnerships that benefit all of us. 
A lot of people had a hand directly and indirectly in making this day come about, and I want to acknowledge their efforts. This includes officials from our State Cabinet for Economic Development, the World Trade Center, Kentucky, the Commerce Lexington Group, and the Chinese Ministry of Trade. Let me point out that we are honored today to have as our guest Mr. Ha Ning, who is head of the Economic and Commercial Affairs at the Chinese Embassy in Washington, D.C. So in closing, Mr. Chairman, Madam President, congratulations on this new facility in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. I look forward to closely working with you for your continued success because your success will be our success. Thank you very much. Now it's my honor to introduce one of our dignitaries with us this morning, Mr. Ning Ha, Minister of Trade, Embassy of the People's Republic of China. Mr. Ha had numerous high-level positions with the Chinese Ministry of Commerce over the past 20 years. I would like to invite Mr. Ha, Minister of Trade for the Chinese Embassy, forward to say a few words. Mr. Ha. Honorable Governor Steve Bashir, former Governor Madam Martha Lane Collins, Chairman and CEO Mr. Chen Bing, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Embassy of the People's Republic of China, I would like to congratulate Bertley's for opening its first manufacturing facility in Kentucky. I feel greatly honored and excited to be invited here. Bertley's parent company, Bo Run, is one successful Chinese company. Their products are well used by the largest coal mines and other facilities in China. More than 100 types of equipment, including machine tools, measuring instruments, dynamic balancing machines, and welding robots are well designed by over 200 professional researchers and technicians. Bo Run is a leader in innovation and technology. Bo Run provides quality products and services to a wide array of its customers around the world. We are also very proud of Boren's cooperate spirit by setting example of supporting and uh, contributing to the community development. We are glad to see that Boren found a home in Kentucky. I trust Burley with the investment of nearly 10 million US dollars and more than 30 or more newly created job opportunities we will see its business thriving in the United States and North America. China recently became the world's second largest economy and has merged as the world's largest exporter and second largest destination for foreign direct investment. China and U.S. are the second largest trading partner to each other. U.S. has remained one of the largest sources of FDI to China. By the end of 2012, the accomplished stock, the accumulated stock of investment made by U.S. companies in China has amounted to 70 billion U.S. dollars. Compared with U.S. investment in China, China's investment to U.S. is in early stage, but is keeping great momentum. In last year, the non-financial investment by Chinese firms to the United States was 1.8 billion US dollars, with an increase 
of 65%. U.S. have advantages in R&D, marketing, business management, and large consumer demands, which are very attractive to Chinese companies. On the other hand, Chinese investment to the United States will help the economy recovery, create jobs for local community, provide U.S. consumers with more high-quality products, and boost U.S. export to China. As Chinese companies look to their U.S operations to export back home. I believe China's investment to U.S. will become a new impetus to the cooperation of our two countries, and Berkeley's operation in Kentucky will be another positive, positive example showing the foundation of mutual benefit in our economic relationship. Ladies and gentlemen, the Embassy of China serves as a bridge to strengthen China-U.S. relations. One of our important jobs is to promote business opportunities and business corporations and support trade and two-way investments. Kentucky is well known in China as it is where the Kentucky Fried Chicken is raised. I must say that I'm very impressed by warm welcome of the Kentucky people and their enthusiasm of conducting business with China. Please feel free to visit us in Washington, when you are in Washington, D.C., and we will be glad to provide what we can to promote China's relation with the state of Kentucky. I hope Berkeley will, be continue, will get continued support from the government and community uh, in Kentucky. I know that Berkeley made a commitment to its new facility, and I have full trust that they will be very successful. This is a starting point, a good beginning. And you have, uh, we both have a saying in English and Chinese, well begun, half done. And in China, we have another saying, if you have one, you are deemed to have two. If you have two, you are deemed to have more. And this is a very good starting point. And to conclude, let me congratulate again to Butley and thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Ha. And uh, just know this, you're our special guest. Anytime you would like to come back to the Bluegrass region, we would love to have you. You will always be our special guest. Also, uh, we have another uh, Chinese dignitary that I would like to uh, call forward. His name is Dr. J.T. Leo. He's the Vice President of China University of Mining and Technology, Fellow of China Academy of Engineering. Mr. Leo. Uh, Mr. Governor, Mr. Governor, uh, Minister He, Mr. Chen, uh, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, I'm very honored to be here at the Kentucky University of Berkeley University of Berkeley University of Berkeley University of I'm honorable to be here in the beautiful state of Commonwealth of Kentucky to attend the open house event held by Berkeley. Uh,我说在的中国矿业大学和肯塔基大学在科研和人才方面已经有着长期的合作，并且建立了良好的合作关系. Uh, the university that I work with is called the China University of Mining and Technology, or CUMT. We have a close working relationship with the University of Kentucky. 今天看到。五星红旗在开发区升起，标志着我们的两国的合作的进一步发展。中心祝贺伯克利公司的诞生。So when I came in here this morning, I noticed that the red flag, the Chinese flag, flying 
uh, above the uh, here in the, in the industrial park, and well, I was very excited. I think this is a very good point for Berkeley for us to give Berkeley here in the state of Kentucky. So, in today's world, two biggest economies, the United States and China, are also the two biggest maritime powers. As the two of the largest economies in the world, China and the United States uh, actually are also the largest the two nations in terms of coal production and consumption. So, a researcher as a researcher who's been working in coal, and I believe it's my firmly be believe that coal can be utilized. In a clean and effective way. In the past 30 years, we have seen that the Chinese production has advanced and the coal production has advanced. Coal preparation is actually a critical step to make a clean coal. During the past three decades, we witnessed that great strides that we all made in terms of coal preparation. Here, we are united by the Boeing Company and the large Chinese maritime companies' work and efforts. Uh, a lot of coal preparation company, equipment companies such as Boron uh, has, made, has contributed to the growth of clean, of, of clean, uh, of clean coal. 今天我们共同见证伯克利的诞生, 同时也是见证中国选媒从这里开始走向世界。uh, and today we are gathering here to celebrate uh, the, uh, the celebrate uh, the opening. I mean, the opening uh, of Berkeley here in the United States, and also we we are witnessing uh, the Chinese coal preparation technologies going forward to the world. I think this is a really is a historical moment for us. Well, the nice equipment on display here, such as heavy medium cyclones and the centrifuges, uh, those are critical equipment used in coal prep. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you know, in the, with Berkeley's location here in the beautiful state of Kentucky, and uh, I wish you well. 并将为美国, 中国, uh, I hope you can contribute continuously to the growth of clean coal energy in the United States, China, and around the world. Uh, I'm sure Mr. Mr. Chen's insights uh, will, see the, uh, will, be, will be fruitful for the uh, wish you all good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Leo. Commerce Lexington has enjoyed working with Mr. Chin, Chairman and Founder of Burtley, and Ms. Ying Xuan Rogers, President of Berkeley, on this project. We appreciate their investment in Lexington and the hospitality they demonstrated to our team when we visited their headquarters in China last fall. I would like to invite them to come to the podium for remarks. Dear Governor Bichir, Mrs. Dear former Governor Martin Collins, uh, Secretary Peter and Vice Mayor. Uh, All the guests. 呃，非常感谢大家能来参加伯特利的竣工典礼。We're very pleased that you're here today. 呃，同时我也介绍呃伯润和伯特利中国的以樊总为首的团队给大家。I'm 
please allow me to introduce you our chief representative from China and the high-level high executive from Boring China. Thank you. This is our first company in the United States. Thank you for this time. The United States government, the United States and other companies have been supporting us. This is our first factory in Lexington. I'd like to express my sincere thanks to Commerce Lexington, the state of Kentucky, and all of the service providers have shown the great working access with us for completing these projects. I would like to especially um, express our thanks to Great Construction uh, for building a such beautiful building for us. Thank you, Gray. Uh, uh, especially, I'd like to thank Mr. Doug Ross, our project, Great Constructions Project Manager. We would forever remember you and thank you. Uh, on behalf of Boren and Bertley, we would like to offer you, Doug, our highest honor to you. Uh, we will give you, please proceed forward, and we would like to give you the, the flower that we only offer to our highest guest. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are also very happy to have a chance to visit China to visit our factory. We hope that we can continue to get the support of all of you. We would like to welcome you, all of you to visit our companies in China and welcome you to visit China. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again, let's show our appreciation to Mr. Chen. And you, Thank you. I'd like to thank all of you to take your time to be here today. It really means a lot to us. We are extremely pleased to be able to provide job opportunities to this community, as well as outstanding products made right here in Kentucky. We have chosen Lexington as a facility to build our equipment because this allows Berkeley to build and produce at lowest cost and ship efficiently to our customers in the region and around the world. This also translates to a direct competitive advantage to all of our stakeholders. Our products are mainly used in the coal preparation industry, <clears throat> as Mr. He and Mr. Chen has explained. We anticipate tremendous growth in our business. In order to accommodate the world's GDP and population growth, we predict by 2050, world consumption of coal 
will reach to 60, 16 billion tons, one six, 16 billion tons, tons, as much as today, as twice as much as today. Uh, in addition to the coal industry, our products are also used in ports, rail, power plants, cement, and agriculture industries. As a leader in advanced technology, Berkeley is committed to providing to our customers with superior service and innovative products that exceeds the highest standard for quality, safety, and the reliability. Governor Bichir, and we promise that uh, we will do our best to create a good example for the Chinese investment in Kentucky. Uh, we also have another saying in China. Uh, a famous philosopher from 2,000 years ago, he said, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Today marks the beginning of Berkeley in North America. Our parent company has five factories and a few thousand workers in China. Under Mr. Chen's leadership, I am confident that this facility will be a genuine success for our company, for our customers, and for Kentucky. Thank you. Mr. Chen. I would like for the governor to come back forward. He has a few special gifts to present. Mr. Chen, on behalf of the Commonwealth, a small token of our appreciation for the confidence you're showing in us today. We look forward to a great relationship with you. And President Rogers. Thank you, thank you. We are Tell looking forward. Always, always. <laughs> always Ying Zhuan, she says. But we're looking forward to a great relationship thank you, with thank the company. You. And Minister? Thank you very much for helping us build this relationship between China and Kentucky, and we look forward to many more successes. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Show our round of applause. We're going to do the flag raising <laughs> stuff. So. Will you give directions on that? <laughs> Dr. Leo said that when he came in, he looked out and saw the Chinese flag flying high among many other nations' flags. And uh, we're very honored to have the Chinese flag in our park. Uh, it's very symbolic of the relationship we have, but also of our future together.